everyone loves to play horror games. And even if a person is scared of horror genres, he must have played some horror game in his life, because horror games make us feel alive compared to other genres. But sometimes these horror games fail to fulfill their promises, because of which they don't match the player's expectations, and then they flop too. So in today's video, we will see 10 horror games that flopped for some reason. These are the games that will make you bored or angry. Colonial Marines was a sci-fi horror film alien sequel which came out as a dull, unattractive, and buggy shooter for the players. There was no tension or variety in the game, it just had laughable dialogue, glitchy graphics, and repetitive gameplay. The game also contradicted the events of the film and didn't have any sense of continuity. And the major reason for all this is its Chaotic development cycle. Gearbox Software had given the game to TimeGate Studios, and they don't have much experience in making horror games. And because of the different visions and poor communication of both the studios, a disjointed and inconsistent product came out in front of us. The game received a lot of negative reviews from both the critics and fans, and a lawsuit was also filed for falsely advertising the game. That's why this game is considered one of the worst video games. Then let's talk about The Quiet Man, which was an action-adventure beat-em-up and used the perspectives of a deaf protagonist to show a story using live-action cutscenes and minimal sound. This game was released on November 1st, 2018, and it came out as a horrific dream for the players because it had a lot of expectations, but it didn't even meet its concept. This game was short, dull, and non-interactive along with its boring, shallow, and technical problems. Its combat system was also easy and unexciting, and the controls were clunky and unresponsive. And because of all these reasons, the players got negative reviews and no one liked the game. And how would anyone like it? Apart from the old and boring formulas, there was nothing new or interesting in it. And because of all these reasons, the game flopped. Alone in the Dark Illumination was a horror-themed action-adventure game released in 2015 in which you have to fight the enemy using co-op multiplayer and light-based mechanics. Alone in the Dark series is considered the father of survival horror games, but this game ruined the entire series. Everything in this game was ugly, glitchy, boring, and frustrating. The graphics were outdated, the sound system was bad, and performance-wise, this game was unstable. Light-based mechanics were implemented in the game in a very bad way, and because of the poor quality, lack of originality, and false advertising. This game got a lot of negative reviews, and it is considered one of the worst games ever made. This game ruined the entire series. Evil Within 2 was the sequel to Evil Within in 2014. This game technically didn't flop, but I included it in the list because it was very little in comparison to the first game. In this game, we play the role of Sebastian Castellanos, who goes to a twisted virtual world called Xtem to save his daughter from yesterday. In the game, we get to see third-person survival horror gameplay. In this game, we get to see a deep and emotional story which explores the themes of identity, consciousness, morality, and humanity. Overall, this game was very good. In fact, it got a lot of positive reviews as well. However, it was very little in comparison to the first game. This could be because other horror games were released in 2017, like Resident Evil 7 and Outhouse 2 gave a lot of competition. Evil Within 2 was a game in which we get to see improvements in a lot of aspects of its first game, but still, it couldn't attract a lot of buyers. The Walking Dead Survival Instinct was a prequel to a popular TV show based on the comic book series in which the characters of The Walking Dead, Daryl and Merle Dixon's story, is shown. This game was released on March 19, 2013 for Windows, PS3, Xbox, and Wii U. This game was being made like a prequel to that TV show, but it didn't capture the drama, emotion, or quality of that show at all. With ugly graphics, stiff animations, and bland environments, there were no real choices or consequences in the gameplay. There was only stealth, melee combat, and scavenging. The story was dull and forgettable in which Daryl and Merle Dixon had to survive the zombie apocalypse. There was no connection with the show's characters or plot lines in the game. And that's why this game didn't come out that well. A major reason for the flop of this game was its travel development cycle. The game was announced in 2011, and to release it in 2013, it was developed in a hurry which resulted in a lot of technical problems in the game. 
Also, its budget was low, which suffered the quality of the game. Dead Space 3 was released in 2013, and it was the third main installment of the sci-fi horror series, Dead Space. In this game, we play the roles of Isaac Clarke and John Carver, and they try to stop an alien threat called Necromorphs, who want to destroy humanity. In the game, we get to see third-person shooter gameplay, along with human horror elements in which we can craft our weapons and tools. We can also fight enemies in locations like spaceships, planets, and moats. Now, we can't call this game a flop, but this game deviated from its survival horror route. Action and spectacle were focused more on this, which reduces the tension and atmosphere of the game. And because it deviated from the original identity of its series, the players gave it mixed reviews. And in terms of sales, this game couldn't meet the expectations. Agony is a 2018's dark fantasy survival horror game, which is set in hell where we play the role of a soul who wants to escape from that hell. In the game, we get to see first-person survival horror gameplay in which we have to use stealth and puzzle elements. In this game, we can interact with the scary environment along with controlling other souls and demons. In the game, we get a basic creepy load on religion and occultism in which we don't have to worry about anything. Due to the poor graphics, bugs, glitches, boring levels, annoying gameplay, and cheap scares of this game, the fans gave it mostly negative reviews. And this game had to face censorship issues as well. Even to avoid adult-only ratings, they had to reduce the graphic balance and texture content. The sales of this game weren't that good either. In fact, it couldn't even recover its development costs. Now, let's talk about Resident Evil 6, which is one of the most famous series. It is Resident Evil's sixth main installment, and it was released in 2012. I'll tell you why this flop happened in a while, but for now, let's talk about this game. In this game, we play the role of characters like Leon S. Kennedy, Chris Redfield, Jake Muller, and Ada Wong who are trying to stop a global bioterrorist threat in the game. In the game, we get four different campaigns in which different characters, gameplay styles, and tones are available, like survival horror, action shooter, and stealth adventure. Now, as far as why I included this in the list, the main reason is that this game couldn't make anyone happy. This game targeted a lot of different audiences and genres, but it didn't become an expert in any of them. And because of these reasons, players gave it average reviews, which show the lack of focus, identity, and horror elements in the game. The game did well in the beginning, but it was less than expected in Capcom. Resident Evil 6 was a game that promised variety and action, but forgot the survival horror roots of its series. Because of which, it was considered a flop in comparison to other games in the series. Blair Witch is a game from 2019, which is inspired by a horror film, The Blair Witch Project, from 1999. In this game, we play the role of a cop who goes in search of a missing boy in a haunted forest. In this game, we only get to see the repeat of the original film and the same formula has been used. The game had psychological horror gameplay, which had puzzles and stealth elements, but the game didn't make any new or innovative effort in the genre. Even if there was something in it, it was just bland graphics, tedious gameplay, confusing story, and annoying mechanics. And because of all these reasons, this game got mixed reviews. Amy is a survival horror game from 2012, which had an interesting concept of post-apocalyptic horror, but its execution was very bad. In the game, we play the role of a woman named Lana, who wants to protect a young girl named Amy from zombies and soldiers. In the game, we get to see third-person survival horror gameplay in which we have to use stealth and puzzle elements. Now, this game was put in this list because it was a poorly made game which was full of terrible graphics, animation, sound effects, voice acting, and useless music. The game also had poor controls, camera, combat, AI, and level design. And because of all these things, both the critics and fans gave it mostly negative reviews, because of which the game flopped completely and it didn't even sell that much. So these were the 10 horror games that flopped. If you want to know about 10 dark games that were abandoned, then watch the left video. And if you want to know about 10 games that EA killed, then watch the right video. If you like this video, like it, Subscribe to the Games Gossip India channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep gaming and keep gossiping.